Hello everyone, welcome back to Source Filmmaker tutorial. Um, this is a follow-up of our previous one, but this one we're going to focus on lighting. So, if we enable lighting right here, you'll see I've already made an animation already. <laughs> That's uh, pretty good. It's a foxy laughing. Let me just shorten it real quick. <laughs> but if we enable lighting again, you'll see that it's completely dark and we can't see Foxy. So, uh, um, you by now I've talked about lighting and custom, so for now I'm going to talk about lighting position. So I'm just going to put the light. Um, there should be three spots of interest for lights. One is on the front side. Okay, the light seems to be a little intense, so let's lower that. It's also pretty bright for a light, so we're going to use these buttons right here to make a bluish light. Like that. Now, if you don't want to have to create new lights and use the same effects, you can always just click, right-click and c press copy and then paste and drag it to the screen and select. The next location is where you're going to be facing, like here for instance. But we're gonna zoom in a little, like this. And now for the back. Noticed how I used these four, the right side and not the left side. Because we're this Foxy's other side isn't shown, we don't have to animate that. But we can also see the sign is pretty dark and we want people to see what's on the other side of the sign, so I'm gonna add the light again. This time we're going up above the light and lowering the intensity a little. But if we want to, we can also do for this side. And that's how you do your light. <laughs> and that's it for this tutorial of Source Filmmaker. I hope you all enjoyed it, and it, it, I hope it was informational. This was the Non-Fictional Explainer. <laughs>